Lara Croft is back as the remastered versions of Tomb Raider 1 to 3 releases today. However, Crystal Dynamics, the company that owns the license to Tomb Raider, absolutely hate them and want to disassociate themselves from them as much as possible. Why? Because they are faithful reconstructions and not some ESG DIE laden rubbish which we're used to with modern day gaming companies in the West. Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Now, as some of you may know, I'm quite partial to a little bit of video gam, and Tomb Raider just so happens to be one of my favorite franchises of all time. Is it because Lara Croft is a foxy, sexy, busty vixen? Well, uh, partly, yes. Also, the gameplay of the Tomb Raider games was phenomenal. It was something really different back in the day. Excellent puzzle solving, excellent combat, traversing areas the action the adventure the sexiness everything combined guess what made a single word which seems to be missing a lot today entertaining these games not only hold a very special place in my heart but they are literal video game history 28 years since the release of the first Tomb Raider game, we are still talking about this franchise. Lara Croft is still a relevant video game character. Maybe not quite the heights that she once had, but is that the fault of her? Or is that the fault of other companies which have been dealing with her since? After years upon years of asking for remasters of the original games, finally it was granted. But was that more to do with Crystal Dynamics or more to do with the Embracer group taking them over? I think personally it's got to do with the latter and not the former, as the former were more interested in their trauma Laura. Yeah, Laura, not Lara, because it definitely wasn't Lara Croft, as opposed to who the character actually was and their personality and motivation. Nations. The remastered versions look absolutely fantastic. There's a really clever function that allows you to toggle between the original versions of the game and also the new remastered versions of the game. So you can see exactly how things have been cleaned up and exactly how beautiful they are compared to how they used to be. Obviously a product of its time. The control system itself seems to have a couple of issues. You can go with the tank controls, which is the original set of controls controls slightly clunkier but definitely more control over the character or you can go with a new modern usage of the controls which allows for much more fluid movement however also comes with its own issues as regards to traversing some of the environments like most games though this is just a matter of getting used to them and before you know it you'll be fluid in no time however it's not crystal dynamics that made the remakes it's a company called aspire and for all intents and purposes, they've made it as faithful as they could possibly be. Which in the era of the modern Western gaming company ESG DIE, that is simply not acceptable. When you initially boot up the game, you are greeted with this message. The games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and their cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. These stereotypes are deeply harmful, inexcusable, and do not align with our values and crystal dynamics. Hold on, hold on a minute. I'm getting a phone call. I'm getting a phone call. Hi, is that the uh, uh, tribe from the Amazon calling? Yeah, hi, tribe from the Amazon calling. What's that? You don't give a fuck what they say on Twitter! Rather than removing this content, we have chosen to present it here in its original form, unaltered, in the hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impact and learn from it. Ah! 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 No, the Embracer group wanted to make money, 
and told you to shut the fuck up and get on with it. But that didn't stop the limp-wristed, wet, soft employees at Crystal Dynamics attempting to placate their ESG slash DIE gods with one last attempt at a monumental virtue signal from the pink-haired Portlandian land whale current day Californian bullshit Western Gaming Company. Because heaven forbid people just act fucking normally nowadays however we are talking about an industry that's trying to placate these weirdos and i don't mean gay people no i mean kotaku and games media because they're all in cahoots with one another as regards to their politics and their politicking perceived to have said the wrong thing and it's the cancellation block for you sunshine because the media is now created to simply serve the industry and not the people who are buying the fucking games i.e. the customers. So you end up getting laughably stupid headlines like this. New report suggests the games industry's failing alphabet players. The report released today is packed with interesting and important statistics. Interesting statistics for sure, as we'll see in a minute. But exactly who made this report? Well, that would be GLAD, the Alphabet Advocacy Group, which is also a non-profit organization. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. Everyone knows all of this bullshit is a hustle. But Kel Surprise, their findings is that 17% of active gamers identify as an Alphabet community member. And yet, they go on to say, only a paltry 2% of games on major PC and console storefronts are tagged as having Alphabet content. Now, let me just think. Which one is probably the more realistic number of actual alphabet representation? 17% or 2%? Hmm, the mind boggles. But that said, it's not exactly difficult to be classed as an alphabet member today. All you have to do is wake up one morning, not feel particularly horny, and boom, you're suddenly asexual. Congratulations, here's your pride flag. Here's your doggy mask. Please take that to your nearest pride march and grind in front of children. Here are now your politics. And if you do vary from any or all of the above, you will immediately, without hesitation, be cancelled to the point where we want you to self-delete. But welcome to the wonderful world of ESG, where literally people are scared shitless just to let things exist and must, absolutely must at all costs, project to their overlords that they are conforming. Sounds a lot like some Marxist commie shit to me. I'll see you in the next video. You take care. Bye for now.